Hello everyone, welcome to Angel Heart Wisdom with me, Lavinia, for your October 17th to 23rd, 2016 reading. If you're new to my channel, thank you, welcome. I want to thank my new subscribers for subscribing. I also want to thank you for your loyal support and your best wishes. Continue to like, share and subscribe and show your love. For personal reading with me, visit my website www.angelheartwisdom444.wibbly.com We can purchase your readings, email your questions to angelheartwisdom444 at gmail.com The planet of abundance, Jupiter, forms a quincunx with dreamy Neptune on the 23rd. There can be difficulties with limits and boundaries now. We may feel disorganized and it can be difficult to stick to a routine or to find satisfaction with our pursuits. There can be a strong desire to help others, but we may not know how to do so and feel guilty. We may take the easy way out and or be, be misled by wishful thinking or invest in impractical plans or I Gemini, thank you and welcome to this week's reading. I'm gonna be using the Butterfly Oracle by Doreen a variation of my virtual decks and God's promises for men and women. Your cards are jumping this week, seeking and finding, going within. Oh, ooh, okay. Mm. Get some rest, memories, courage, healing from the past. Imagine that. Um, the focus for this week, I'm feeling... Um, based on the readings that I've done so far is on resting. It is not a week where you need to push forward full force. And it's such a coincidence or not that um, the next four messages for you, um, the, the previous sign, Taurus, had all, you know, the, the cards. So I'm going to, you know, go with it. I'm feeling it's highly important. My, um, I have a couple planets in Gemini. I think it's my Mercury is in Gemini, so that is communication. So I could see why, um, you know, the reading may be similar. But, you know, just what does it mean to you? Share, comment, you know. Seeking and finding, looking within, wanting to know what to do next. Okay, really go within so you could find the answers, really connect with the heart so you are able to see things clearly. Call on your team for guidance this week. Go within, okay? Prayer, meditation, a continuation of last week, week's energies, spiritual manifestation. Things may be happening in the physical, but I'm not feeling like it is a week where you need to push forward full force. Obviously, if you have your routine and stuff that you've set out to do, really try to stick to it but i'm not feeling like it is a week where you need to move forward full force i'm feeling that you've been called into prayer meditation this week you've been called to heal the self the internal self so that way you could really see things clearly and move forward this is life path issues maybe a career change a move but seeking and finding what to do next look within this week prayer, meditation, third eye chakra activation, as well as crown chakra activation so that you could really, um, you know, get a, form that strong connection with the spiritual team this week. Yeah, get some rest, okay? Stay grounded, rest, reflect, okay? Watch as things go by on the surface. Don't be quick to make Hasty actions and hasty moves this week. Really get some rest, prayer, meditation. Stay grounded. Root chakra activation. Make sure all your chakras are in alignment. Okay? And the memories, the thoughts and the good wishes you have, you know, for your future, um, keep them in strong focus this week. This is what's going to assist you with manifesting spiritually the good thoughts the good wishes the good memories for yourself mankind and the universe okay remember where you've been remember where you want to go all right and also remember to be in the now 
one step at a time. Okay, keeping all the good hopes, wishes, and strong focus. Find the courage with regard to your manifestation work. Find the courage to stay true to yourself. Find the courage and see things clearly. I'm hearing violet fire meditation so that you could really transmute all the old. Okay, transmute all the old so you could start afresh, start anew. Really trust the internal self. See things clearly. Remain grounded. Okay, and transmute the past. Um, we have um, Saint Germain with us and he's saying um, call on him this week to assist in um, blazing the violet fire okay um, another thing you could do is just ask for the purple white um, the purple light of the Creator to encircle you as well as white light you know and when you do that you could ask for purple and white light to encircle the earth as well so that all the good thoughts that you have for yourself and the earth you know could assist you and the earth in racing to the next vibratory level um, the Sun is on the horizon so just know that everything shines under the Sun and really um, this is healing from the past so really trusting the self understanding the lessons that you've learned okay understanding the here and now and trusting the self enough to be able to go into the unknown to go into um the future and even though you can't you don't know exactly where you're heading at this point in time but you trust yourself enough to be able to see things clearly okay and to understand and really release all that no longer serves you people um, things in your life that no longer hold true you know because of e you evolving being a, an evolved being and seeing the bigger picture you know this is what it is for you this week so those of you who are Taurians and have signs in or planets in Gemini, um, anything that I missed, um, this is going to clarify. So let's go on. I'm going to get a message from the soul for you. This is it. Natural unfolding. Okay? So you're naturally unfolding. Things are changing. You're changing you're evolved okay and it's sort of a metamorphosis kind of phase um getting your wings you know natural unfolding learning what you need to know in the moment really taking things one step at a time knowing no planning no just serendipity um trusting your inner guidance and being in the right place at the right time okay when you accept you're naturally unfolding life gets easier no more fighting no more struggling and um based on the energies you will know when it's time for rest and reflection okay and when it's time to move forward but learning what you need in the moment okay and this is the light that your soul is radiating this week what does it mean to you? What speaks to you? All right? Comment, share. Remember to be in the now, the here and now. Keep the good memories and visions of tomorrow in strong focus while being in the here and now. Okay? But again, lots of spiritual manifestation for you this week. And um, take time out to heal the old and rest. We're going to get an angel affirmation for you and it is angel of light so this is the card of ascension in this deck okay um, healing the old transmuting the past and really connecting with the light within you is your life abundant with laughter and play is there enough light in your home is there significant light inside you for others to enjoy your company each person can freely choose between following the energy of darkness or the energy of light. The choice is in your hands. There are only two paths, the path of love and the path of fear, joy, and pain. In each moment of your life, you have a choice. 
The path you choose to follow depends entirely on you. Begin calling for the angels of light. And your affirmation is, I am light. I'm, I'm seeing Archangel Raphael. And he's saying, call on him this week. Ask that his green ray, the emerald green light encircle you so that you could heal and really transmute the old. Okay? Archangel Raphael, so that you could really heal the past let go of all the old and so that way you could trust yourself but this is the card of ascension okay ascension finding the courage within yourself to push through okay knowing who you really are and letting that shine forth so people can enjoy your company this week no matter what is taking place you're going to be that vehicle of light you, you know that white light runs through your veins. Although things may be taking place in the physical, but your energy is light and loving and joyful and peaceful and all that good stuff. No stress because um, what you want, wants you. Yeah? So spiritual manifestation this week. Really look within. Seeking and finding the answers. And for you to really get the answers, you need to get some rest so that you could hear your internal guidance. Keep your memories, dreams, um, visions of the future, where you've been and where you're heading in strong focus this week. Find the courage with regard to staying focused and manifesting and really transmuting all the old so the new can unfold while you heal the past and trust the self and see things clearly so we're gonna go on to god's promises for men and women for your intuitively guided message be that light that vehicle of light that you came here to be that you are hold on to faith let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering for he who promised is faithful what does that mean to you it is hebrew 10 verse 23 what is this saying to you let me know like share comment okay like and comment okay let me know what it means to you amazing energy surround you all in all it's not a week where you need to push forward and run around spiritual manifestation okay and let the old all the old fall away so the new unfolds yeah um Remember, like, share, and subscribe for a personal reading with me. Check out the links in the description box below. Like our Facebook page. Check us out on Facebook. See you soon.